This is Nellie Deutsch and I am on Integrating Technology Project number 701323439264. It's Integrating Technology. There it is in the browser window. Going to demonstrate how I use the API on my Moodle site for Google Meet for Moodle. So I'm going to go to the website, which is right here. Here is the site in the browser window, integratingtechnology.org. Going to log in for the first time. Click on the login and I'm going to go with the G for sign in with Google. Click on that my user and then I get a site agreement. I need to accept it by going into yes over here. Click on it and then I get to see the site policy agreement. Now notice the site policy agreement has uh, information about Google Meet. The site agreement is here. Google Meet for Moodle. Google Meet for Moodle is a Moodle plugin. It requires that integrating to set up a verification process because of sensitive scopes. And then I mention how the scopes are used. Google Meet for Moodle API uses two sensitive scopes for the following purpose that does not infringe on your privacy. It's there to create the event on the calendar and link a Google Meet room to the event and to upload or download delete files in Google Drive, to create access, update and delete native Google documents in Google Drive, to manage files and documents in your Google Drive, but it's only in your own Google Drive. And I'll show you how that is done by creating, let me just confirm that, by creating a Google Meet on for Moodle. And, um, this is how I use the Google Meet. I'm going to create a meeting. Only teachers can create a Google Meet for Moodle. So let me do that. I added my name. Next, I'm going to generate a URL. Notice the uh, calendar is over here. The only reason it's here and the only way it's going to be used is to set up the meeting. So today is the 6th. I just click on it and I can add the time. So let me just generate a room. The way I do it is it takes me back to my account, which is right here. I click on it. That's my user. And then the room link gets generated over here. Let me scroll down and save it so it can be displayed. So this is how users use the API. There it is. Notice um, I can now sync it with my Google Drive so that the recording will appear there once I record. So let me do that now. Click on the sync with Google Drive. So it takes me back to my account over here. Click on it. And now it's synced with my Google Drive and that's how Google Drive is used. Notice there's nothing there because I haven't recorded anything. Let me enter the room over here so I can record and the recording will appear. Now notice I need to only go in so let me switch with my account. So let me switch the account since uh, it's me here but there I'm going to click on my account and now I'm in the room is getting ready okay now I can click on join room this is a Google Meet so that's standard Google Meet next I'm going to switch on the recording there we go only teachers who have an organization account can record teachers who just have a personal Gmail account cannot record so nothing gets connected to their Google Drive. Okay so let me just stop the recording I think that's enough and I'm going to leave the room and return to the course. 
So I'm back in the course. As I said, only teachers who have an organization account can record. So if they don't record, their Google Drive is not affected, and neither is their Google Calendar. Notice once recording is available, when you click on Sync with the same account, it's ready. Okay, so uh, here it is. This is the recording. You can play it. You can hide it. It's available. And that's it. That's how it's used. Now let me show you what happens to students when they enter the room or want to view the recording. I'm a student in this course. I did not create the class. As I said, the room, the Google Meet room, only teachers can do this, but I can click on it and enter the room. But I will only be accepted if the teacher decides to accept me. But since the recording is available and the teacher has enabled me to view it, I can click on play over here and play the recording. Click on it and now I'm able to play it. This is a Google Meet feature. It has nothing to do with uh, this API, but I just wanted to show you that this is a Google Meet just like any other Google Meet, only it was added was added to Moodle. So students are not involved in this API, only teachers. So let me go back. As the teacher, only teachers can use, can create a Google Meet for Moodle, and only teachers with organization accounts that pay can actually record and use the Google Calendar and Google Drive feature. So the scopes are only for them. And that's it. I hope this has been of help and uh, you're able to see how the API is used.